Good afternoon, Harrison graduates. Your day has finally arrived. My name is Bill Mutz, your mayor, and I greet you on behalf of the Lakeland City Commission. I want to congratulate each of you for the amazing accomplishment we're all here to celebrate today, conferring your high school diploma. Lakeland is a beautiful place to call home, and it continues to thrive each day by what you bring to our community. Whether you plan to go off to school, explore the world, or take root and continue to grow right here in Polk County, you join generations of artists and performers who show the world what it means to be part of the creative collective. In fact, I expect to see many of you in our Lakeland Arts May, uh, Council of the Arts website someday as you have an opportunity to introduce an idea you have to become more creative within our great city. Class of 2023, let us take a moment to reflect on your accomplishments and thank those who have supported you. You're the first four-year class to graduate in the wake of COVID-19, and as freshmen, you navigated new learning methods during a worldwide pandemic, and I commend you for the hard work and dedication that brought you to today's ceremony, and for the teachers and the administrators who helped to provide a path of success. On a personal note, please know that you've been designed with a purpose and gifted with everything you need to accomplish that calling in your life. Your job is to add training and excellence to the process. The person you want to compare yourself to is you, not others. Comparison to others wastes time. As they do not have your gift package, you're the one most responsible for becoming the most purposeful person that you can possibly be. Now, creative ones, take one more look around. It's nearly time to cross the stage, and as you do, reflect on what you've learned. Engage in the next chapter of your life with purpose and zeal. And always remember that Lakeland is home. May God richly bless your life-enhancing journey as you seek to be a difference maker to the world around you. Congratulations to the class of 2023. I'm Fred Hyde, superintendent of Polk County Public Schools. And I'm thrilled to welcome everyone to this year's graduation ceremonies. This joyous rite of passage, like many other important moments of our lives, is actually a result of hard, many years of hard work and dedication. It's also made possible by the many different people investing their time and love into our graduates. And I'd like to thank some of those key people who have helped our students grow in their academic knowledge and in their character. First, let me thank our teachers. Every day, they encourage our students to strive for their highest potential and have challenged them to not give up when things got tough. We should also remember the critical role that all other staff members played in shaping these graduates' futures. Bus drivers and bus attendants helped our students travel safely to and from school each day. Our food and nutrition workers kept them well fed so they'd be ready to learn. Paraeducators supported students' needs both inside and outside the classroom. And this doesn't even begin to cover many of the other important public servants, like administrators, school guidance counselors, nurses, school safety guardians, our school resource officers, custodians, and so many more. And what many people don't realize is our graduations are also a celebration of their commitment in serving Polk County's youth. And so parents and family members, loved ones, thank you for part partnering with us. And congratulations, you've nurtured your child into adulthood. Enjoy the well-deserved pride that you feel in your heart today. And finally, thanks to our entire community for making public education a top priority in supporting our efforts and helping us place students first. And finally, to our graduates, I'd like to congratulate you and wish you the very best. Please remember that graduation is not a destination, and your educational journey will continue well past today. Each and every day is a chance to learn something new. It's also an opportunity to use your knowledge to help others. And so whether you're going into a trade, enlisting in the military, or heading off to college, no matter what struggles the future might bring, remember that you have the support of those around you. Congratulations again to the class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Polk County Public Schools, welcome to today's commencement ceremony. Graduation is an important milestone, 
and we're proud that you've joined us to celebrate the momentous accomplishments of our students. Now, please stand and honor the graduating class of 2023. I would also like to recognize our school personnel on stage for their dedication to our graduates. Mrs. Brandy Polly, Assistant Principal, Ms. Amy Benningfield, School Counselor, and Mrs. Dion Facy Portier, School Counselor. The graduation of our students this afternoon has been made possible by their parents and a fine group of educators teachers from both Harrison and Lakeland High School. Thank you to all the teachers for sharing your expertise with our students and preparing them for this Hallmark occasion. Teachers, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Parents, we're grateful to you for your support and for believing in our programs. Thank you for all that you have done. It is an honor to recognize our graduating seniors for meeting the requirements for a high school diploma while also fulfilling the high expectations of our program. The accomplishments of the class of 2023 are notable. For those who attended our senior awards ceremony, you know that the students seated in front of you have received numerous accolades for their hard work during their four years of high school. Over 90% are graduating with honors recognition, and more than half of them are graduating with a 4.0 GPA or higher. Just as commendable, these 143 students have amassed over 35,000 hours of community service to various organizations within and around Polk County. Seated amongst the class, we have numerous all-state musicians, countless scholarship winners, five Silver Garland finalists, two Arts for Life competition winners that was just announced this week out of 25 total in the state of Florida, and many, many more accomplishments. These accolades recognize the hard work and dedication to excellence by these young people. Graduates, more than all of the awards and recognitions you have earned, I want to share with you that it has been my pleasure to watch you grow as students and artists over your time here at Harrison. Whether you have been here all four years since that time way back before any of us knew much about a coronavirus, or whether you joined us just this year as a senior, like our superstar photographer and reporter, J.D., After you graduate today, you will head off in different directions. Some of you will continue your artistic studies in college, while others will, will learn to become doctors, 
teachers, engineers, and more. Some of you are starting your careers now, while others are choosing to serve our great country through the military. No matter where life takes you after Harrison, I hope you will remember the lessons you learned here about striving for excellence in all you do. This idea is best summarized in a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said, if it falls to your lot to be a street sweeper, sweep streets like Michelangelo painted pictures, sweep streets like Handel and Beethoven composed music, sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry, sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will have to pause and say, here lived a great street sweeper who swept his job well. Graduates, no matter where your next step takes you, do your job well, and I can't wait to hear about the many things you accomplish next. Congratulations. It is now my privilege to introduce to you this year's salutatorian. He is a member of the jazz department. During his four years, he completed a total of 42 and a half credits including 10 advanced placement and 15 dual enrollment courses. He is graduating with a 4.640 GPA and will be attending the University of Florida. Please welcome and congratulate Jacob Gemitter. Um, I'd just like to start off by saying what an honor it is to be standing in front of all my classmates, in front of all the people standing here. Truly, it's been a pleasure. Mm, first off, I'd like to shout out all my friends who have helped me throughout these years. When things got a little messy, you guys were always there for me, and I will forever be grateful. I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I can remember spending nights studying for Calc with you guys, writing LRJs together. Ooh, thank you guys for everything, truly. Next, I would like to thank all the teachers out there who have helped me these past four years, but I'd like to give special recognition to my math teacher, Mr. Mooney. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you were the reason that I wanted to work as a math tutor, and you inspired me every single day in first period. Um, you always believed in me when other people didn't, and I couldn't imagine learning calculus or math without you. But, you know, you taught me math, but you also taught me a lot more than that. You taught me how to be caring and how to be compassionate. And for that reason, I'll always have the utmost respect for you. Um, I'd also like to thank my family. Uh, this message is for my grandma. There she is. Ni hao, Ipo. Ni hao. Well, I need. I would also like to thank my brother, Tyler. Um, you've always had my back. You're my bro. You've generally been the best ever, dude. Like, you, you're always there for me, and I'll always be thankful for you. Um, I'd like to thank my dad as well. You shaped me into the man that I am today. Um, you always helped me, gave me opportunities. When I was at my lowest, my highest, you've always been there for me. And I'll forever be grateful for you too. And, of course, I have to thank the most important woman in my life, my mom. Um, you've done everything for me. You've sacrificed your time and your happiness to make sure that I was all good. Even though I hated it, you always pushed me, made me do all the work, reached my potential. You enrolled me in every possible thing you could to make sure I was busy. And you always checked on my grades to make sure I wasn't slipping any classes. I, I would not be here today if it weren't for you, Mom. And everything you did was for me. <laughs> Whew, hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> And I'll, I'll, ever, I'll always be grateful for you, Mom. Thank you. Now. <clears throat> High school has taught me a lot of things, but by far the most important thing that I've learned is to love everyone around me and to cherish every single day with you guys. You know, throughout these four years of high school, we've all experienced how fragile life is, and how you can just lose those around you. Um, I think it's just important to realize just how much people sacrifice for us every single day 
and to appreciate everything that's around us. Yeah, we learned math, we learned the arts, but we all grew together, and I think that's the most important thing going forward as we become adults. It's not gonna matter how much money you made, the job you had, but it matters is how you impacted the people around you and who you are as a person. It's important to maintain the relationships we've built and to strengthen them, and I hope everyone is able to love one another, to cherish the memories we made, and to live a compassionate life in which we express our gratitude for one another. Thank you all. It is now my privilege to introduce to you this year's valedictorian. She is a member of the Visual Arts Department. During her four years, she completed a total of 42 and a half credits, including nine advanced placement and 24 dual enrollment courses. She is graduating with a 4.712 GPA and will be attending Duke University. Please welcome and congratulate Susanna Braswell. so sorry but okay hi everyone um, I'm so lucky to be standing here today among all our incredible students and devoted faculty I'm also very excited to welcome all those who came to support us it is undeniable that so many lives and hopes have been poured into this class including the many adult role models who helped to guide us on our way so to all those who fit this description thank you um, <laughs> to that end, I would also like to acknowledge the love and support students have worked to build for each other. Over these past four years, I've seen kindness and generosity exchanged between pairs of distant peers and devoted friends alike. Those voluntary families, the ones built by compassion and unyielding friendship, are equally responsible for getting all of us here today. So, I would like to thank all the families, in whatever form they took, for walking alongside us all these years. My personal thanks goes to my parents, my naughty and poppy, my siblings, my friends, and my almost sister, Elizabeth Stump. Um, I'm sure you all have people you love near you today whose congratulations will mean much more than mine. So I'll leave the, gush the gushing exclamations of pride uh, mostly to them. Uh, and instead, I would like to shift our focus toward the future. So there are plenty of medals and regalia in the crowd today, reminding us all what an ambitious, driven group of students is leaving Harrison this year. Everyone in this room deserves to feel pride in their achievements, as I know their loved ones do already. The reality is, though, it does not matter how many trophies we boast or how many certificates we frame. One day, everyone will forget the things we have listed on our resumes. Symbols of accolade will end up collecting dust in garage boxes. Our real legacy is the people we care for and the lives we affect. We cannot decide what our future circumstances will be or who will eventually come and go from our lives. But we do have choice. We can choose who we become and what we will stand for. We can choose to love unconditionally, even when it is in inconvenient, even when it hurts, and even when it breaks us. We can look for the person who is lonely and aching, desperate for someone to reach out, and then we can do our best to offer a steady hand. Different page. Um, to give and receive compassion with equal fervor is terrifying. It will take faith, vulnerability, honesty, and above all, sacrifice. As we aspire to love radically and boundlessly, inevitably we will fail. Often, our own failures are the most difficult to let go of. So, we will also learn to forgive. We will take responsibility for our mistakes, embrace any opportunity for growth, and eventually, we will do better. We will remember our collective humanity and extend sympathy toward every shortcoming, both within and beyond us. What the coming decades look like is up to us. To choose kindness is to do more than to make hollow declarations of our good intentions. I have seen loss, love, and healing all deeply embedded in the lives of students preparing to walk today. I know from experience how strong we are. Um, and I believe deeply we are capable of directing this integrity toward our greater human cause. In closing, 
I would like to read an excerpt from a man whose words are much wiser than mine, uh, James Baldwin. He writes, love does not begin and end the way we seem to think it does. Love is a battle, love is a war, love is growing up. Class of 2023, today reminds us that we are growing up. I'm so proud of us all. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Now, it is important to remember that the graduation is a formal ceremony. Each graduate deserves to hear his or her name clearly announced. The faculty and students of Harrison appreciate your willingness to honor our students. At the end of our ceremony, we will celebrate everyone with our, our, when our Arts Council President, Janiah McAllister, directs the moving of the tassels. After the tassels are moved, we invite you to celebrate to your heart's content. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you in advance for helping us ensure that everyone's name is heard during this portion of the ceremony as we honor each graduate. Susanna Elizabeth Braswell. <laughs> Jacob Way Gemitter. Anthony Douglas Weiss. Faye Kemi Atia Portier. <laughs> Alessandro Otoniel Jongte Vasquez. Barbara Ann Rosencrantz. Braden Kiki Tan. Savannah Elise Seeger. Elena Anthe Brausch. Leah Marie Braxton. Nathan James Ockinger. Emma Marie Bako. Reese Alexis Hughes. Hannah Maria Freed. <laughs> Elizabeth Abigail Peterson. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Behrens. <laughs> Jada Petsana Phonaboth. Grace Chloe Lanham. 
John Michael Moses. Elena Rose Kozel. John Noel Weibert. Cody Adam Reverts. Coy Yoke. Sorry, Coy York. Hunter Emmanuel Barrickman. Ashley Elizabeth Lane. Emma Josephine Walters. Aaron Renee Matson. Remington Michael Wiltsey. Levi Everett Day. Eva Catherine Kozel. Benjamin Thomas Rose. Caitlin Ann Kaiser. Grace Elizabeth Bishop. Janaya Lachey McAllister. <laughs> Connor Trent Melvin. Kara <laughs> Celeste Rutledge. <laughs> Kylie Page Spurlock. <laughs> Sophia Josephine Ritchie. Stephen Michael Thomas. <laughs> Mallory Olivia Shoemaker. Mark Patrick Johnson. Kaylin Elizabeth Bow. Ava Riley Raposo. Sean Christian Abuon. Anne Catherine Lunong Lilia. Casey Lorraine Miller. Marissa Bailey Sullivan. Kaylin Michelle Foster. Alexis Nicole Cargakos. Shati Annika Campbell. Anna Paola Cruz Velez. Lathan D'Angelo Williamson. Alyssa Nicole Lloyd. Ari Anna Luisa Harrison. Yeah. Chloe Danielle Croft. James Kevin Levine. Owen 
Ben Phoenix Sizemore. Kayla Augusty. Daniel Victor Hicks. McKenna Jean Mitchell. Amanda Jane Mata. Christopher James Wheeler. Ethan Rory DeAngelis. Lennon Isaiah Kitto Knight. Tristan Laura Ledford. Mia Elizabeth Alvarez. Skylar K. Young. Autumn Lynn Grinstead. Trent Paulson. Ty Tyreek Jemai Miller. Chaley Mar Nielsen. Piper Lewis Whitaker. Madeline Noel Vida. Alessandro Demetrios Mejia. Kyle Ethan Jerkins. Kerrigan Kane Williams. Zoe Sunshine Gerard. Melissa Ramos Fish. Sophony Rempart. Charlie Ayana Brown. Abigail Rose Webb. Chelsea Jane Waters Chalou. Matthew Renard Okoro Bennett. Nathan Tyler Rogers. Ian Ray Robinson. Alyssa C. Kelly. Lanaya Simbri Cave. Zachary Kilpatrick. Belle Evangeline Horseman. Janiah Brielle Luder. Gianna Alexis Hoyos. Joycey Viscaino. Sonia Louise Walker. Haven Lee. 
Liana Faith Santos. Jasmine Nellums. Lauren Elizabeth Riker. Kimora Lee Davis. Miracle J. Nicholas Patterson. Nicholas Ralph Edward Pagano. J.D. Jonathan Gregory Davis. Rain Rainiolo. Kennedy Rose Donovan. Katia Michelle Pietre Fraticelli. Angelina Lucia Ortiz. Sophia Plata Delgado. Courtney Lissette McDermott. Matthew Adam Mundiger. Justin Kurt Lockwood. Adonai Marie Humber. Christina Angelis Torres Cruz. Natalie K. Grace Duncan. Olivia Claire Kamkowitz. Jaheem Duwante James. Emily May Porterfield. Brianna Marie Ramos. Warren James Francos. Ethan Daniel Lopez. Dominic Luca De Cesare. G. Ryle. Austin Patrick Walsh. Juanelise Marie Figueroa Rivas. Christopher Maldonado. Jordan Nicole Wallace. Elizabeth Leanne Stump. Christopher Samuel Gonzalez Castro. Anunziata Mia Versace. Christian Obed Casanova. Ashlyn Ann Kosmicki. Gabriela Milagros Rosario Irizari. Braden Michael Alley. Mariana Betancur. Kamari Otheus Cobbett. 
Cameron Lee Coker. Paris Mary Ellen Donaldson. David Benjamin Fuentes. Kendra Montevis Green. Skylar Cheyenne Lovering. Guy, Guy Scott McMillan. Areli Aviel Piak. McKenna Joyce Pennington. Anu Salome Ramirez. Vegas Brianna Sprouse. At this time, I would like to invite Superintendent Hyde to join me at the podium. Superintendent Hyde, each student assembled here has completed all the requirements as prescribed by the Polk County School Board and the State of Florida, and is hereby entitled to receive a high school diploma. Good afternoon, everyone. Parents, let's hear it for these students. What an absolute amazing graduating class. Thank you very much to the staff who have helped along with these families mold these young adults into these amazing individuals that they've become. We're truly excited to see what happens in the near future. We tried something new tonight, if you didn't notice. We tried the superintendent's smile camera. So in the graduation ceremony before this, students did not know what to do with a camera on stage. I will tell you, Harrison students truly knew what to do. Smiling, making faces, talking to the camera. Hopefully you got a chance to see a glimpse of that, but it's absolutely our pleasure. And the reason we tried that this year is, for years as a superintendent, I have benefited from a smile that you, most of you can't see. As they walk across the stage, the biggest, the brightest smile you've ever seen because they're so excited and nervous about crossing the stage and entering the next phase of their lives. So hopefully we got a chance to share that with you tonight. So by the authority vested in me, because we're gonna get to it, by the state of Florida and the Polk County Public School Board, I do pronounce that those of you who have completed the necessary requirements to be graduates of Polk County Public School System and confer upon each of you all of the rights and respective privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, class. At this time, I would like to invite this year's Arts Council President, Janiah McAllister, to the podium for the turning of the tassels. Graduates, please stand. Join me in moving our tassels from right to left.
You can do better than that. Come on, give it up for the seniors. This concludes our commencement ceremony. Congratulations to the Harrison Class of 2023!